Hello. Welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So I got a job to do here um, in the Bridgeport, but I want to double check the tram and the, how the vice is on here. I want to make sure everything's square on the mill. And to do that, well, first what we're going to do is check the vice. We're going to indicate off the back jaw and check it this way and make sure it's, it's true to the table. And then we're going to use for that, we're going to use the stare at last word indicator that I have here. Um, you can use any indicator, really, as long as you've got a way to attach it to the mill. And then for the, the tram, we're going to use this Edge Technologies tramming tool. Um, I've been using it for a few years, and it works really well. Uh, they're... they're actually not that terribly expensive and they do work pretty good. I know a few people that don't like them and you know it's personal preference but I, for the most part I think it works really well. So um, I'm going to try to position the camera here and we'll get started and I'll show you how to how to indicate the back vice. Okay I hope this is visible but there's my indicator. Uh, I'm still learning this camera and uh, it's focal points, but so I got my indicator at zero. Now this is a 15 thousandths either direction indicator. So I'm going to lock the table or the lock it here so that it can't move back and forth. I'm at zero right now. But what I'm going to do is start in the center and I'll work each way and make see if it moves. And I hit a little rough spot there. Just a little rough spot there, but must be a nick in the jaw. And, you know, for what we're doing, that's really, really close. Um, I don't think I want to screw with it much. I mean, I could try to try to get that little bit out of there, but for what I'm doing right now, um, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, if I was doing some super precision stuff that uh, will be coming up here shortly, I'm sure. Um, every once in a while, I get a batch of stuff that's got to be really tight tolerance, and then we'll then we'll worry about getting the, getting that a lot straighter. But for now, I just call that good. So now I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to get the uh, Edge Technologies Pro Tram indicator set up in the collet. Um, it just goes in a in a standard half inch collet in your spindle, and then we'll show how to do that. Okay, so I got it in the collet, got it good and tight. Lock the quill, so that's you know that's staying where it's supposed to be. Now, under this, right here. There's this little bottle, a little tiny, I don't know if you can see that well, but inside that is a magnet. There. That's a, just a little guy, a little cylindrical magnet. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take that magnet and put it right under one of our indicators here. And we're going to crank that, our table up. And we're going to bring that around to where we want to be zeroed. So we're just going to pick a spot here and call it zero. That just perfect. Okay. Now what we do is we spin it around. And we put that one on the same spot. We don't move. The location of the magnet does not change. And then I zero that one. Now 
Okay. They're both zeroed. Let's just double check it. Yep, zero. All right, so we got two zeros. Two zeros that match off of the little magnet. Now, if you were doing this with just a standard single indicator, you would put it in your spindle, offset it, and rotate it around, but set a zero point and then you would rotate that around to find all of your, your highs and lows. So now we're gonna turn it, bring it up, and we'll just bring it right around here to, we'll pick one of them as a zero. Okay, so I'm, I'm crooked. We're 12 thousandths um, higher on this side. So that means we need to adjust our head this way, go this way to bring that around. But we're only going six thousandths on these two. We're splitting it. So let me come over here. I'll loosen up the. And there's four bolts. Let me uh, back you guys out so you can see a little better. Okay. There's four nuts up here. Loosen them some. I mean, they shouldn't even be all that tight because this. This is a problem point on the bridge ports too. Um, you can wreck them if you over tighten these. It'll pull out in the back. And now we just adjust. Like I said, we're not going far. Okay, so we're really close uh, right now. Let's just take a little more. So I must have some wear up here in the, in the pivot point because one side moved, one side didn't. And now I'm curious, and I'm gonna check this out yet, but now we're both at Little over three thousandths, both of them. So what I'm gonna do is just tighten it up and uh, very carefully watch to see if they move. And they shouldn't. But like I said, you're not going, you're not reefing these down. So now we're in line this way. Now we can go ahead and, and uh, turn it, but I'm going to throw my magnet back up there and just make sure I'm, I'm good before I turn it. And I'll just, I'll stop the camera just for that. I just want to double check it. And then I'm going to turn it and we'll come off the vise this way, two points over here and adjust this way. So let's uh, get onto that. Okay. So there was nothing wrong with my indicator, so I must have some wear up in here um, to do that. And this mill is old. I've had it a long time, um, but it still holds really good and true, so I, I'm not going to complain. Um, eventually, I'd like to get a new one and, and a new lathe, and just the, t the money is not there right now, and the timing is not good, but eventually. So as if you can see it, because I'm still learning this new camera, but I mean, I can see it. I just on my screen, I just can't tell if, where the what the numbers are. But I have a zero here and five here. So I actually need to adjust. Looks like down. So let me show you. I'll back out and show you how to do that. Again, I'm learning the equipment as I go. <laughs> so for that adjustment. You loosen these and you don't have to loosen them all the way. You want a little friction there because if you go too far, you're going to have a hell of a time, especially when you go to tighten things up. So see it moved on me a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just, so 
start adjusting here. And what we're shooting for It's like I wasn't that far off. So you're you're looking for the same. All right, let me just start back over. You want to get the same number. So right now I'm at about seven and a half on this one and seven on this one. So I need to back up just a little. Seven and a half and eight. I'm gonna go back to ten. Maybe I should put a little more tension on here because I'm struggling a bit. So I'm at 11 to 9. Let's just tighten it. Bring it in. 10. And that's about 8 and 3 quarters, so a little more. I'm about 9 and little over eight, so we're very close. So let's just take a little more. And that looks like eight and eight. So let's tighten that up and just watch it. Because sometimes they'll move. All right, let's see where we're at. Eight and eight. So that, that held. I'll so just a little snug a little more snugness here, and uh, we should be okay. And yeah, looks good. So there you have it, a very fast and easy way to tram your mill head, indicate your vise. Um, like I said, this, this uh, Ed, Edge Technologies um, Pro Tram unit is, is pretty awesome. Um, I know a lot of guys don't like them. I've done both ways with the single indicator and this thing. This thing's fast. I mean, guaranteed fast. Um, I've also compared them to the other ways and I mean, this this works really, really well. Um, if you wanted to do it though, and that, the single indicator way will help you determine if you got spindle bearing issues also, because any slop in there, you'll notice it. I mean, you'll find it right away. But just for simple drilling and stuff, and simple milling, this works great, um, and I haven't had issues with it. But you always open your vise and go off of the base. You don't want to go up here. You don't want to go off the top of your jaw, unless you're indicating off the top of your jaw for you're using the top of your jaw um, uh, to sit something on. But, you know, for the most part, you're, you're going to indicate off of your the bottom of your vise, down in the in the ways of your vise. And if you're doing something you're bolting to your table, you're gonna indicate off your table. Um, there, <laughs> that's the thing with mills. You're gonna always be indicating, always finding different ways. You're gonna learn real quick how to do this stuff um, efficiently and correctly. Um, but there's so much indicating to be done. And on the lathe, the lathe is a whole different set of, of indicating but it's, it's really not that complex when you really get into it. So I hope this cleared up any confusion some of you guys may have. Um, if it didn't, <laughs> say something and uh, um, I'll, work on, I'll work on trying to clear that up. But I hope the video was clear. Like I said, I'm learning the focal point of this new camera. Um, so trying to get it so you can see this stuff up close. I did a, a shaper video that, or a planer video that's uh, on the press brake die that's coming up and it's kind of blurry when I get in there on the close-up stuff, so I'm trying to learn all that as I go. Um, and hopefully we can get to the point where I really know this camera well and, and uh, we can move forward comfortably and, and with good quality. Um, that's kind of the goal here is good quality videos and educational so you learn something and um, we're gonna do some funny stuff too. Um, I got a few ideas in mind that'll uh, Try not to dr be drinking your morning coffee when you're watching some of my videos because you might spit it all over the kitchen. Anyway, um, until next time, like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com. And uh, like, subscribe, and 
share, share our videos, share it around. Let's, let's get this growing. Let's do some more. Um, as we grow this, I really want to get uh, maybe some help in here to uh, do the shooting for me. So I'm not trying to struggle all the time to, to set up the shots. So help us grow. Share the, share the video, share the channel, like and subscribe. And uh, just get out in your shops and get it done right the first time.